So before we start the video, I need to address the elephant in the room. Wow, okay. I haven't uploaded a video in about a half a year, and I feel like I should give some type of explanation for that. It's really just been a mix of family work and honestly a lack of motivation. But recently, I've noticed a little spike in views, and it really helps to motivate me when I see people are actually interested in watching the videos. Right now, I have two videos with almost 2,000 views, and six months ago, my entire channel had like less than a thousand views. So I'm extremely stoked on this and excited people are actually watching these. And one of those videos is a Drake and Josh video I did and Dusk Toast Sean actually gave it a shout out in his video. So I just want to say thanks Sean and thanks to everybody who clicks on my videos. It really means a lot to me. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, let's talk about some rocket power. But before we talk about the pilot, let's talk about the show in general. Rocket Power is, in my opinion, one of the most important cartoons ever. And I say that because think about it. I think it's safe to say that Rocket Power has inspired an entire generation of kids to start snowboarding, rollerblading, skateboarding, all because of this show. He needs some milk! If it was an extreme sport, the odds are you saw it on Rocket Power. The show first premiered on Nickelodeon in June of 1999 and it ended its run in 2004 with a total of 71 episodes. Rocket Power had video games, movies, specials, and even an extreme sports live tour. Rocket Power Live! You're part of the show, cheering on Otto, grabbing major air with Twister, Reggie, Sam, and the entire Rocket Power gang live! The show did a lot for extreme sports and a lot for cartoons. With all that being said, let's take a look back at everything we know about the Rocket Power pilot, Rocket Beach. Rocket Beach is the original Rocket Power pilot that was created in 1998 by Arlen Klasky and Gab Gabor... Gabor... Um, you had... You... You... You could... You do... You... Chupo? It's gonna be on the screen. You'll, you'll see it. It was created as a pitch to Nickelodeon and was never actually released to the public. However, you can see small clips from the pilot in the Rocket Power opening credits. And in 2009, an unedited 24 second clip that was taken from Nickelodeon's website back in the late 90s was uploaded to the YouTube channel nick 20 Tennist. All they have uploaded to that channel is this video and the Spongebob I ripped my pants video. Rip my pants. The quality of the clip is like if you were watching it on this bad boy, but it's something. The clip is 10 seconds of the opening and then we get an overview of ocean shores and then some footage of auto skating all while twister says this this is ocean park california home to me and the coolest buds around too bad school gets in the way this life will be perfect all we can do is hang out so as i continued to search for more info and clips from the pilot i stumbled upon a lost media wiki forum post from 2016 and there i find more people searching for the full pilot lost wiki user joey says the title says it all the rocket power pilot episode rocket beach is obviously lost the only evidence we got of this lost pilot episode is a short low quality clip of the beginning episode and the seasons one and two intros containing some minor clips of the pilot Hopefully this pilot will be surfaced one day because the animation to the pilot kind of looks badass. Now at this point, shout out to everybody in the thread because they did most of the research for me. From here, users posted screenshots they found in old Nickelodeon promos that feature small clips of the pilot. One being the Happy Birthday Nickelodeon promo from June 26, 1999. We see this quick short shot of Twister. Let the panic come in. And then I see someone say they remember reading somewhere that you can see the pilot at the Paley Center for Media in New York and in LA. Quite a few people on the thread confirm that you can in fact see the full pilot at the Paley Center. User Dr. Mysterio says, I can confirm this is at the Paley Center. Here's some interesting notes. Twister may have been intended to be the main character, or narrator, and Sam was Latino. He goes on to say that that's pretty much all there is to the pilot, and that it plays like a video diary. Somebody posted a link to the Paley Center's website that shows the credits for Rocket Beach, and from there we find some new information. We see that there's a character credited that we've never seen in the actual series by the name of Miss Hasselbrain, but most importantly we learn that the pilot is 4 minutes and 35 seconds long. Three years after the thread was created, someone by the name of Valve1996 finally gives us the information we've all been waiting for. They've been to the Paley Center, they've watched Rocket Power, and they're ready to tell us exactly what the pilot is. Valve says, 
Hello guys, I went to New York City for winter vacation this week, and during my days there, I was able to go to the Paley Center for Media to watch Rocket Beach. I can tell you that the pilot is around 4-5 to five minutes long. I can confirm several things from the pilot that I have watched. First of all, the listing for Rocket Power in the Paley Center for Media website is indeed the listing for the pilot. The pilot is video recorded and narrated by Twister. In one of the scenes from the pilot, Twister is seen in a classroom being laughed at by the other students after getting a D on an assignment. The teacher warns Twister that if he fails the video project that he is assigned to do, he will have to go to summer school. Twister starts filming and introducing his friends and all the activities that they do. Sam in the pilot is voiced by the same actor who voiced Twister in the show. In the snowboarding scene, Reggie takes Twister's camera and runs away with it while the camera is still recording, with Twister telling Reggie to give the camera back to him. This scene is partially shown in the Rocket Power theme song. We then see Twister and his friends eat at a restaurant where a Raymundo rocket works. Raymundo looks different in the final design. In the pilot, Raymundo wears a white sailor cap instead of a fisherman hat in the show. He also wears a striped tank top in the pilot instead of the polo shirt in his final design. Three minutes into the pilot and the end credits show up for the remaining minute, not long before the Klasky Chupo outro plays, followed by the Nickelodeon outro where one of Reggie's lines is played in the background. So there it is. That's Rocket Beach. To me, it seems like less of a pilot and more of a rough pitch to a network. I get that it's the pilot, but it just kind of feels weird. Kind of like that two minute King of the Hill pencil sketch that introduces the characters. Put on that, that, that dang old Melrose place. Old Boomhauer ain't right. Uh, neither is Dale, really. And uh, come to think of it, Bill tried to cut his own hair with a weed whacker. Anyway, it's going to be a real funny show, I tell you what. Twister is making the documentary for the school, but like in reality, it's a clever way to introduce the characters and plot to the executives over at Nickelodeon. With it being just four and a half minutes long, the pilot just feels like a network pitch, and I doubt it was ever meant to be on TV. And as of 2022, that's everything we know about Rocket Beach. I'm going to link the Lost Media page in the description, and if you want to do some research yourself, maybe by the time you've seen this video, more clips or screenshots have leaked. As of now though, we have no indication that the full pilot will ever be released online, but let's hope it does. Oh my god, just stop, stop, just stop it. Brian, I love you! Oh god, just wipe your nose, man. That's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, peace. The great ancient Hawaiian king Kamanahuchi used to say, the only real spooky stuff is spooky stuff that is real spooky. Think about that. <laughs> <laughs>